Argentina beat France on penalties the World Cup final in Qatar December 2022. FIFA has a responsibility to deliver the legacy it has promised on human rights in Qatar after the 2022 World Cup but is not at that point yet. According to Norwegian football chief Lise Klaveness, a year after the tournament, Klaveness returned to Qatar to find out whether human rights had improved in the Gulf country. Speaking BBC Sport from Doha, he said the World Cup had really led to some progressive changes in the treatment of migrant workers but also identified a struggle implement reforms on gay rights in Qatar, where same-sex relations are illegal. Klaveness said the issues are still sensitive, controversial and no progress has been made. The former Norwegian player said he returned to Qatar a year after the tournament to learn because we think these issues will come up again and again. Where he met with workers, officials and NGO representatives. We want to fulfill FIFA's promises and its responsibility in football's human rights policy, she added. For now, we see that FIFA is not really addressing and moving forward with the removal of human rights, which is a prerequisite for hosting World Cups. In response, FIFA said its Human Rights and Social Responsibility Subcommittee was conducting an independent assessment of whether the steps the institution has taken so far were compatible with its human rights responsibilities and whether additional steps would be recommended. We are of view that the legacy of tournament for migrant workers will be further strengthened. International experts and union representatives who evaluated and collaborated on the labor rights program for FIFA World Cup employees have repeatedly noted that major steps forward been made in the field of workers' rights, a FIFA spokesman said. According to the International Labor Organization, Qatar's labor reforms have been significant and have benefited hundreds of thousands of workers. The World Cup has been an important catalyst for these reforms, it is undeniable significant. Progress has been made, and it is equally clear that such transformative reforms take time to implement and further efforts are needed to ensure the reforms benefit all workers in the country. Qatar World Cup organizers have been contacted for comment. Progressive forces last year, Claveness criticized the decision to award the flagship event to Qatar, citing unacceptable results. This comes after years of debate over discriminatory laws and human cost of building infrastructure. Needed for tournament in Gulf states extreme summer heat, Qatar introduced labor reforms from 2017 that included greater protections for workers, a minimum wage and the abolition of the controversial kafala sponsorship system. But there were long-standing concerns about implementation, praising the progressive forces among Qatari officials. Claveness said our assessment is that some changes have been made. 